Hey y'all, today on the farm is one of the biggest days of the year. Today is the day that we sell the most coveted item that we sell or produce all year. Today we will be selling the very first bushel of tiny cream peas for the year. This is what they're coming for. This is a top pick cream, but ours are harvested a little young, a little bit early, and they're super small, extra tender, little green peas. They are highly, highly sought after. Here's some harvested the day before those, and you can see they're just a little bit smaller than them. We've been testing them each day for a few days now, trying to find the optimal harvest date. And so while we're performing them tests, we're harvesting a few, and so there's a few to sell. Our actual harvesting of the cream peas won't begin until maybe late today or sometime tomorrow. And at that time, it will be wide open around here until the last bushel leaves. But we have those little test bushels, and we're gonna send a few of them out today, and it's gonna melt Facebook when they get posted. When those cream peas hit, folks will be calling me before seven in the morning and 10, 12 at night until the word is out that we have no more. It'll do it, it'll do it now. Yeah. Sometimes it don't take pictures anymore for some reason. All right, that's fine right there. Let's see. Gotcha. That. You got me? Gotcha. Well, Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> what do you think? Her son and I grew up together playing in bands and picking guitars. We moved to Nashville together about 15 years ago. Uh, he's still there, but he's touring the world and recording number one country singles, playing on the Grand Ole Opry all the time, and I'm back home growing peas and butter beans. I think it's turned out the best for both of us. We got everything hooked up. The sun has come out. It is really wet out here, but the sun is out, so we're gonna try to get after it a little bit. This is what we came for. This is our most popular product on the farm, the tiny cream pea of uh, this particular variety. is called Top Pick Cream, and they sit a heavy, heavy flush of peas. They are mostly, this year, they are mostly one age. I got a few of them like this, and a little bit behind that one. A little bit difference in age. The fan on my machine is going to blow this one out. That was dry. It'll get blowed out. This one may get blowed out. It may not. It will not shell out. It may end up being a snap inside the shelled out piece. But this one a shell, that in a shell, that in a shell, that in a shell. That's a snap. So we're going to pick them. Hopefully there won't be too many snaps. It'll be pre predominantly peas. This here is so dandy. And look at this. This is a uh, same day, planted the same day at the same time. Top pick cream versus Sedandy. The Sedandies are still trying to make, they're, they're still blooming. So the Sedandies actually set the blooms first. They were, the, they were the first ones to bloom and I thought we'd pick them first, but they don't set a concentra as concentrated of a pod set. They bloomed, they put on a few of them. So this may have been the very first blooms out here, might have been these. The top pit creams bloomed a week later, but they made all their peas at one time where the, as the sedandies are still blooming, they just got kind of multiple tiers of crop on them, which is a problem if you're machine picking. You want them all made at the same time if you're machine picking, because the machine's a one pass and it's over with type thing. So this is more of a hand pick variety. They're not quite ready. Most of them are not quite ready on there. I don't know what we're going to do there. My hand pickers are not wanting to pick them. They said there's too many bees out here. I don't know. Uh, but they're not, they're not working in there much. But as we pick these top picks, the hand crew will get over there because that's all they'll have left, that and the zippers. But I want y'all to look at this crop out here. These top picks have really, really made. I've planted them before, but this is the first time they've made like this for me. They are... They got a strong crop on them. The Lord has blessed me with some peas this year.
those of y'all that were watching last year when we were in in the peas and butter beans that was a terrible terrible season for me nothing worked everything failed total disaster i had a broken spirit by the end of that season and it was evident on the videos a lot of y'all mentioned that you were praying for me and thinking about me and i appreciate that because this is what a bumper crop of peas looks like right here so far this year the machine's picking flawless the shellers are shelling everything's working it's a complete reversal from last year i'm talking about it's 180 degrees as you can go it's a complete dead opposite from last year and that is a result of, of y'all praying for me y'all think about me that is a result of the lord because nothing is possible without him and nothing is impossible with him so prayers have been answered that's left in there with the peas and then they get bagged and put into a walk-in cooler in the back but we have not yet posted we have them we have not yet advertised and while i'm over there picking i've been seeing cars falling off in here steady so even though we hadn't told anybody i don't know if somebody rode by and saw us picking them or people just stopping by a lot of them are leaving before they ever get to the cooler which happens every year you start picking white peas i don't know if the if somebody puts it out on the internet or what but whenever the white peas start coming out of field a signal goes up in the air and people come from all over the place and they buy them quicker when you stack them in the cooler but that's what's going on today you've seen the whole process from the very first bushel out there was a test pick to now we're picking wide open and we're evidently they're going out the door quicker than we can bring them up here and shell them that's to be expected I thank all y'all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.